Key, the... check out this blade. Whoa! What? what the heck? Isn't that crazy? What up, what up, it's Chad Wildplay, and you guys have been requesting Skyrim weapons, Skyrim, 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 like crazy forever, so we are finally gonna do the Skyrim's weapons video. Let's do it! The first Skyrim weapon we are testing out in real life is the Blade of Woe. It is a unique dagger carried by Astrid, the leader of the Dark Brotherhood. It is exceptionally strong with a higher base damage than the Daedric dagger. And to buy this weapon, I'm gonna buy it from Campbell Armory. It's actually a place that I used for the Fallout 4 video for that Krems tooth. So he did a really great job custom building me a weapon. Here he's doing a Blade of Woe, 100% metal replica for $59.99, so let's add this to cart and take a smelly. Nope, nope, not gonna say it. Whoa, 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 whoa! It's the it's the blade of whoa. That's what I'm. That's what I'm on about. All right. Uh, thank you for your purchase from Campbell Armory. Well, you are super welcome, dude. Ooh, it's so sharp. Just pokes right through the bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. Everybody loves. Okay. Woo! That is awesome. How the heck does he get that engraving in there like that? That is really tight. Yeah, this is definitely a 100% metal replica of the Blade of Woe. Oh, jeez. I don't know why I did that. I just like jammed my finger really hard on the tip. <laughs> okay, yeah, you gotta be careful when you're carrying around a Blade of Woe. My hand fits in here perfectly. Check this out. Kind of covers my finger here and it covers my pinky finger there. A really nice leather bound handle here. The blade itself, not super sharp. So it was. it is good for like uh, cosplay and probably carrying around as a costume, whatever. Although that tip is very sharp. Yeah, cool. I'm excited to go test this out outside. Now today, as you guys know, we are having a little trouble with our neighbors again. We made amends with our neighbor the first time after we ran over their car with an army tank. Uh, so that got better after that. But since then, we've been kicked out Again, so now we're gonna go outside. I don't even know where we're gonna go. I'm gonna go get V and go get Justin, and we're just gonna end up outside somewhere, and we'll see uh, where we can use this thing and and test it out. Here we go. Whoa! Whoa! whoa. Did you say whoa? I said like, whoa. Because this is the blade of whoa. Really? Oh, oh, that's whoa. Keanu whoa, Reeves used that weapon. Yeah, he's like whoa. Whoa, dude. Whoa. 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 I'm gonna stand over on this side while you're holding it over there. <laughs> so this is Skyrim? Skyrim, Sky. Elder Scrolls, it's a great game. I actually was very addicted to the game Oblivion. Remember that, V? Oh my God, uh -oh. like I didn't see Chad for like three weeks <laughs> in a row playing it, like while we eat. While you Chad. sleep. While I Chad. I would like wake up to hearing Lucindia, whatever her name is, Lucinda. Lucinda. <laughs> <laughs> she always wanted to trade and barter items with me. Yeah. Oh. He got jealous of her. So this was actually made by Campbell Armory. You guys remember last time he made a weapon for me in Fallout 4, that Krem's Tooth crooked thing. Heck yeah, oh, yeah, we remember that. Yeah. So he made this item as well. Yeah. Didn't he do a great job? You know what, this will be great for stabbing a soda ninja. Make that baby pop. Let's go stab it. <laughs> what I'm gonna attempt to do is something I haven't done before. I've always done sideways like this, but I've never done an Ooh. inward stab. So this has a very sharp point. So I can do a block and then a shot. There you go. That's yeah. pretty ninja. Let's do it. Oh. Orange, you glad you did all that ninja training? Yeah. yeah. That shot me right in the eyes. All over your face. <laughs> You're covered in ninja blood. <laughs> covered in ninja blood. You got the last laugh on that one. <laughs> but now I smell deliciously orange. Oh, I guess Chad. Ants are just gonna be all over him. Oh yeah. That's true. That is Unless true. the ants get you. Yeah. And then he'll have the last laugh. Yep. And the next 
Skyrim weapon we are testing out in real life is, actually before we get into that, I wanted to show you guys this crazy thing I just ran into, this Azog the Defiler Mace, which is from Lord of the Ring, or actually, I mean The Hobbit. <laughs> this thing looks crazy, it is freaking huge. It's usually $270, but it's on sale for $99.98. I think I should get this and swing this baby around and destroy some things. I think <laughs> that would be crazy. It's really huge, guys, It's and probably super heavy too. So I always give you guys a thumbs up goal. Let's see if we can hit it. Let's do 80,000 thumbs up. If this video hits 80,000 thumbs up, I will buy Azog's The Defiler's Mace and we'll do a Lord of the Rings weapon. <laughs> okay, let's jump into weapon number two, which is the Daedric Sword. It is a one-handed weapon that appears in Skyrim. It is somewhat similar in appearance to Shimitar's. They have a curved handle and a blade that sweeps backwards. It has a serrated blade and decorative etching. Back to KarateMart.com where I get most of my weapons here. We've got the Flaming Assassin Sword for $23.95. This looks perfect because it has that serrated blade and it has a curved backward blade as well and it has this really nice blood red etching in it. This is gonna be perfect for Skyrim. Let's go ahead and buy it. Oh, and something arrived in the mail. It's a big white box. Well, not that big. I think I know what it is. Hopefully it is, otherwise it's gonna seem really weird that I'm opening it. If it's not the Daedric Sword, it's some sort of sword. Here we've got a nylon sheath button there. We'll just slide it on out. It is exactly what I thought it was. <laughs> it's a lot larger than I thought. You know, in the picture, it looked a lot smaller. This is actually a, woo-wee. I'm gonna touch it just a little bit. Yeah, that is sharp. This tip, very sharp. Really cool flare flame there. You know, I thought it was supposed to be uh, B-L-O-O-D. Uh, I think it's not. I think it's some sort of flame or something. Oh, that is a sharp point. Ow, right there. So I could come down on a fruit like this, <laughs> slice it right there or anywhere around here, or you just poke it, give it a good poke. Nylon wrapped around the handle, give, gonna give you a good grip. It's cord here for putting around your wrist so it doesn't fly out of your hand. All right, well, let's test this baby out in real life against some fruit and soda ninjas. Chad, you look like such an innocent schoolboy with your backpack on. Well, what's in my backpack isn't so innocent. Wow. You just wait until I unsheath it, then you'll be wowing. This is not another wow knife, is it? Wow. That looks like a wow, wow. sword. The blade of wow. <laughs> No, yeah. I'm just kidding. This is the Daedric sword. Daedric, check, okay. Check that design oh, out. Oh, that's very Ooh. nice. For like, when I stab into somebody and pull it out, it's a V, look at how awesomely well that goes along with the merch. Oh, yeah. It oh, blends yeah. right in. It's got, got the same color scheme. Yes. Black Zacto. and red. I have another one. We're going right here, and I pull them out. Swords in the front. I like <laughs> it. So you think that's fashionable enough for back to school, V? Definitely. Yeah. I mean, look, he's so well color coordinated. Your backpack is red and black. Oh, you know he puts a lot of thought into that every day. It's every color day, bro. Every day, bro. <laughs> Coordinate those colors. <laughs> Oops. Oh, whoops, I dropped my backpack. Uh -oh. oh, but I exposed the really cool backside oh, of it there. Oh, shoot, you guys can have a battle now. You yeah, there you go. Now you're having a real fight. <laughs> With myself. Hey, Chad, let's make some tomato sauce. Check that out, right dead in the center. BLTs. BLT it all. And the next Skyrim weapon we are testing out in real life is, oh, that bell symbol reminds me to thank all you guys, all you notification ninjas who have that bell symbol turned on down below. I shout you guys out at the end of every video showing your comments at the under, uh, blah, blah, at the bottom of the screen. And make sure that bell symbol is not only on, but has the ringing symbols on it so you can get here quick and hang out with me in the comments down below. Anyway, the next Skyrim weapon is the Lunar Steel War Axe. It can be found at the Silent Moons camp nearby the Lunar Forge from level four onward. Like all lunar weapons, this bears the Silent Moons enchantment. This unique enchantment burns the target for one second when struck. And I found the perfect ax here, the Lunar War Hatchet. How much closer can you get? It's called the Lunar War Hatchet. And it's only $14.95, so we can save some money. <laughs> anyway, guys, that looks perfect. Let's go ahead and order this thing and test it out. What a mysterious looking box. 
I wonder what's inside of it. Maybe something lunar. It is. It's the Lunar War Axe, or should I say Hatchet, because I believe Hatchet is like an axe that's smaller. All greased up. Ooh, not gonna put my hands on that, get all oily. I believe that's there so it doesn't rust. If you guys didn't know, Lunar refers to the moon, and so this has a little cutout of it here, right in the head. I believe this is for um, lower weight when swinging it, makes it slightly easier to swing. I've also heard people say that it's for aerodynamics. Pretty sure it's not for a peephole to look through, so when you're out on the battlefield, don't hold the axe up to your face like this, it probably won't protect you very well. <laughs> the back of this is cool. It has like a second weapon back here. We can strike with this side or we can strike with this side and very sharp on the tips as well. So it's this thing is like sharp all around. I think our soda ninjas and fruit ninjas are going to be in fear upon seeing this ax. Sw swing at them. Here we go outside. <laughs> I always walk my girl here to school, don't I? Yes. Like a good boy. So sweet. And I gotta protect her when she's when I'm walking her to school. Oh, so yeah, yeah. other way around, but we'll pretend. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But, you hold my books and stuff too. Carry it to my locker. Oh well, then you gotta. If I carry your books, you gotta carry my <laughs> lunar axe. Oh. Lunar axe. That's a lunar axe. We only the, use when the solar eclipse is on. That's right. It yeah. is right around the solar eclipse. Yeah. <laughs> Even though by the time this video comes out, it'll be yeah, like, way past. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think of that weapon there, V, huh? That's pretty cool. What, yeah. Why is there a hole in here? It's just a, like a decorative. You know, I was so wondering the same thing. I think My guess is for its less weight, it takes away of the weight so you can swing it faster. Okay. That's hmm. my guess. It's like a really good V size. I, I kind of want to use this on something. Yeah, that is yeah. your size. Yeah. yeah. Perfect for you. Yeah. Maybe we should have you chop something with it. Uh, toe. Oh, she, uh -huh. she told you. You don't yeah. need to get the tune. <laughs> no ninja tune, okay? Ninja -tude. Yeah. Give ninja kick to the grind. Oh, oh, that ain't the kick bump, huh? Kick bump, I like. <laughs> kick bump, kick bump, kick bump. Yeah. Okay, V, you go kick bump a watermelon with that act. Oh, look at you. Always fashion accessorizing. Yeah. She's a ninja model. <laughs> look at that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This guy's gonna get it. He doesn't even know. He doesn't even know what's coming. Oh, Shout out to all of you guys who are buying my CWC merch. Thank you so much. If you haven't seen this shirt yet, check it out. If you guys want to get any of the CWC merch, it's right up there in the top right-hand corner. Click on that little I symbol. And of course, if you see anybody wearing CWC merch, you automatically know that they are freaking awesome. Be sure to greet them with a kick bump. Uh, anyway, let's get into the next Skyrim weapon. It is the Blade of Sacrifice. It is a unique ebony dagger that you can acquire during the Bothias Calling. Okay, I probably said that word wrong. Whatever. So once the quest has been started, the Dragon Board is ordered to use it to sacrifice a follower at the pillar. So kind of a scary blade, guys, but I think I know exactly what to use. This is the Hooked Badlands Sword for $27.95. Looks very, very similar to the Blade of Sacrifice. This weighs about one pound, is 25 inches in length, has a really awesome curved blade. This looks very much like the Blade of Sacrifice. Let's test this baby out. Hey, this is a cool box. Very really do you see cool blades come in such a cool box. Nylon sheath with the strap to wear around your shoulder, buckled in there very safely, wrapped in plastic. Woo! Cool sword, man. Ow, that is a sharp tip. Wow, be careful with this one. This, I think this is the sharpest sword or blade of the bunch today so far, guys. And what is going on down here? We got keychains? Got three there, three down here. Maybe if you're like a janitor uh, you, and you got a lot of keys, go ahead and go ahead and carry one of these swords with you. You know, uh, would that be funny if your custodian at school carried this around with all their keys on it? I wouldn't be messing with the janitor much if uh, if, he, if he or she had one of these, right? Anyway, enough about janitors. Back to Skyrim and this awesome blade. Since this is the blade of sacrifice, and since it is so crazy sharp, I think this is gonna easily battle a soda ninja, one of our toughest foes out of this series. So let's go ahead and sacrifice a soda ninja. Ah, ninja, what up, D? Come on. Take out Justin. Take out Justin. Take him out. Oh, splash. Not again. 
It wouldn't be the first time, Justin, no. that you have sacrificed yourself to the hot pool gods. Speaking <laughs> of sacrifice, we've got the Blade of Sacrifice. Dang, the blades in this, uh, this game are kind of scary looking. These are yeah. the kind of some of the coolest blades we've seen, yeah. isn't it? Check it out, me. Go ahead and grab Jeez. it. Are, is, is the top and the bottom sharp? No, oh. just, just the bottom. I think both are sharp. Oh, gosh. Here, let this... me find out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a bad idea, Justin. Sharp Terrible here. idea. We only really? do things safely around here. That's right. Pretty cool designs. Here. Pretty cool, pretty Wavy. cool. You ah. can like attack from this Look at end. That. Yeah, this a end. dagger on the bottom. A dagger. A dagger. So, like, really from any end. This end, that end, here, here. What do you think these are for, V? Like keychain holders? That's what I thought. That's what I thought, too. Did you really say that? I did. <laughs> Put some charms on it, you know? Yeah. Some charms. <laughs> You really know how to make anything cute, don't you? Yeah, yeah. cutify the weapon. All right. <laughs> we don't want to be cute. We want to be crazy. crazy. Slicing up some soda ninjas and watermelon ninjas and fruit ninjas and everything ninja. Yeah. Ninja Massacre, here we come. That's right. Whoa, what are these? That is a brand new ninja. Soda can ninja. Ninja can. That's ninja a can can. Can can. can. You know, can. Dancing, the oh, can yeah. can. I don't know that one. It's just dance, Chad. Okay. <laughs> Cutify the ninjas. That's oh, my job. Oh, <laughs> cutify everything. I thought she said cutie pie the ninjas. Yeah. <laughs> Can you see this coming? I don't think so. Two soda cans. Heck yeah, Ninja. Cheers. Cheers. Yes, you can. <laughs> yes, I can. And the next weapon we are testing out in real life is the Blood Skull Blade. Now, this is a unique two handed weapon and it's found in the Elder Scrolls V Dragonborn. And it is crazy powerful because when power attacking with the blade, it sends out a horizontal or vertical energy blast that inflicts 30 points of damage. Energy wave can travel roughly 15 feet, even penetrating through walls and multiple targets at the same time. We've got the Red Dragon Sword for $80.95. This thing <laughs> looks crazy. If you can match the might of the fire breathing dragon with the Red Dragon Sword, you wield an ounce of that power in your hands, measuring almost 45 inches. Woo, that is a long sword. Okay, that's enough. Let's go ahead and order this thing so we can test it out. The Blood Skull Blade is here. Holy cow, you guys, this thing is way longer than I thought it would be. Check out how long it was. I can't even fit it on the whole screen hardly. It comes to a very fine point at the top and it's black on the edges, red in the middle. That is awesome. I do not have any swords like this. And check this out down here. Wow, I've never seen a Tsuba like this. This is like a dragon's claw right here. There's two little dragons here. These dragons are actually little swords. Check this dragon out. Holy cow. Isn't that cool? And then this one comes out here. I can tell you right now, V is gonna love these little things. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the dragon claw here, and we keep going down to the leather wrapped handle and another dragon claw right down here at the bottom. The sword itself, it's actually not sharp at all. Uh, so I'm gonna have a little hard time cutting through some things. This is more of a, a decorative sword that you hang on your wall. In fact, it came with a uh, wall placard here. So I guess I hang this on the wall and then hang this on the placard. So it's more for decoration. It sure does look cool, but uh, we're gonna see what we can cut with it. If we can cut a watermelon ninja, let's go give it a shot. <laughs> Whoa. What the, B, what the? check out this blade. Whoa. What? what the heck? Isn't that crazy? That is crazy. And what's really cool, little dragons right here. No. Oh, okay. oh my god. That is made for V. This is like a transforming knife. That's yep. right. It's wow. a transformer. 
And if you guys notice, this is like a dragon claw yeah, right so here and right there. The blade looks red like fire. Oh my oh. god, that is so cool, Chad. Fire breathing dragon. Ah. Seriously, these are some of the coolest weapons I've seen in yes. a long yeah. time. Like, yes. This is new. These are amazing. Look, look, it's a heart. Oh, uh. <laughs> you and your cute stuff all the time with the cute stuff. We're yeah. trying to be cool ninjas here. She's making it all cute and girly. Making it all romantic and stuff. <laughs> look, a heart. Oh. Like instead of a wedding ring, you guys should have just used those. Yeah. yeah. Ninja wedding. Ninja wedding. And the red, this red stands for love. Right? Yeah. Oh, that's true. The oh. heart. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not blood, no. This is a great Valentine gift. A great <laughs> Valentine's gift <laughs> for the ninja love of your life. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> to just enjoy some emoji ninja water balloon. Whee! Wait, water balloon, I mean. <laughs> Watermelon. Teamwork gets the job done. Shout out to all you notification ninjas who get here early, leaving comments below. I'm featuring some of your comments down here. Thanks for leaving those awesomely nice and funny comments. And of course, a huge shout out to Campbell Armory and to KarateMart.com. I am putting links to both of them down below. So any of the items that I use today, you can get from them. Be sure to use code WILDCLAY at KarateMart.com to get 10% off your order. And if you guys haven't seen this video yet, definitely check it out. It's a good one. If you're not subscribed to me, click right about there. If you're not subscribed to me, click right about there. And this video is super amazing. Um, which one will you pick? It's just a very difficult choice. They're both so, so, so cool. Oh, okay, kick, bump with my fist. Here we go.